Up to now, all the tutorials that we have done have been on a single page or sometimes two pages, but we have never actually paid any special attention to working with multiple pages in Corel Drive. During this tutorial, we will find how to use multiple pages and what is available to us when we're working with multiple pages. Up to now, we have only seen how to import only one image to our document. But there's also another way we can uh, import more than one objects to our document. It's pretty simple. So we'll go to the import and then we'll find the images that we wish to select. So we'll go here, click on this one, then shift, press the shift key on the keyboard and click on the other images that I wish to import. Then I'll click on the import button and now I'll click anywhere on the document. So I'll click for the first image. That is the first image second and there is the third image so in this way you can import more than one object to your to your design okay so those images i will use later in my design in the previous tutorial we have seen how to create a brochure for our uncle tony's homemade pizza it's a sort of a menu so this time we'll do pretty much the same Except this time we will create a menu that's not foldable, so we'll have different pages. So basically uh, you will do something like this when you're creating some sort of a book or some sort of a uh, brochure, I guess, that's actually, uh, that can actually be binded together or stuck together, so some sort of a, like a book. So each page is going to be on its own. And therefore I have set the size of my, my document here to... Um, 110 by 210 millimeters so this is kind of a brochure that's usually designed for a menus and stuff like that all right so let's have a look at the pages down here we have the page tabs so currently i have just created one page and therefore i have only one tab here if i cl click on it right click on it i will get a menu here now i can rename this uh, page and we'll we'll just call it first page And straight away the name changes so this is indicating that this is the first page and that my name of my page is uh, first to insert more pages I will just click on this little icon here all right now I have two pages but this page has now been set up to the default value of the size so I can just easily change it here so 110 by 210 and now it's the size also, I can rename this page and actually I call it third page. So I have page one and page two. The name of the first page is first and the name of the second one is third. Now I've done this on purpose just to show you that I can actually insert the page before or after this current page. So if I go before, it's going to create another page and once again I'll go change the size first. And then I will rename this one to be my second page. So basically you can insert pages in between other pages or you can insert it. So actually you can insert it before or after a certain page. Also you can duplicate the page, you can delete it and you can switch the orientation of the page. So if I click on this one, it will just go into a landscape orientation. I'll change back. All right, now that we have basic understanding of this little display here, and of course we can toggle and go through pages. Now we're on page two, page one, and so on. Also, we can click on this icon here, which will insert another page. So basically this is saying, I want to insert a page after this page, or I want to insert it before. And as you can see, I clicked on the left hand um, icon and therefore inserted the page before my uh, third page and just to delete it I will go delete the page and once again I'm back to three pages and they're all the same size now the size has been set to a4 by default because when I set up this project I set the size of the page to be a4 of course when you're actually creating a new project you would put in your values for your pages so for example 110 by 210 but I haven't done that and therefore every time I create a new page it's gonna be the default site which is actually A4. Alright now that we've done that I'm going to pull out a docker object manager. 
here you will find all information about your document so basically we have one two three pages you can see that here as well and also there's a master page I'll talk about master page a bit more later so let's have a look at the first page this here gives us the information about the first page we see that we have only one layer and we see some icons here now if we click on this any of these icons here we can actually uh, change what actually happens to that page so for example if I get a just get a square like this and straight away we can see that it's been given a name it's given a rectangular name so rectangle that's actually another layer within our our first layer of our first page of course we can change that the name of it if we go to rename so let's call it white and what I like to do now is actually change it so even though it's called white let's give it some color some yellow now if you have a look here there's this little icon that says show or hide now if you click on that icon it will actually hide that particular layer if you click on it again it will show it there's also this little icon here that looks like a pen which is a lock and unlock icon so what that means is actually I can move my my object now but as soon as I lock it I cannot move it I cannot do anything I cannot edit that particular object so this is basically good when you're creating some background images and you don't want don't want that image to be you know edited by mistake and everything else all right so still on page one let's have a look at this little menu here so the first menu will allow us to actually add a new layer to our page so currently we have only one layer and we also have only one object on our first layer so by clicking on this icon we will add another layer now we can call it layer 2 or anything else so I'll just leave it as layer 2 so having selected layer 2 I can insert another object so this time I'll just go I'll just go with the circle and I'll give it some color blue so there it is it's actually shown that in layer 2 on layer 2 in our first page we have another object which is called the ellipse on layer 1 we have the white rectangle which is like white rectangle which is actually a yellow color but for the purpose of demonstration that will be just fine so basically we have created two layers on our first page and the second layer we have created using the new layer button down the bottom let's go to the next one the next one is the actual new uh, master layer which we will discuss a bit more later then we have the uh, new master layer for all pages only so what does that actually mean as you can see I'm currently working on page number one therefore that's the odd number of my page so if I click here I will insert a master layer only for odd pages so let's call this odd pages only so anything I'll do on my first page will be shown on my third fifth and so on page but it won't be shown on any even pages so page number two three uh, page number two four six eight and so on so let me set some text here and make sure we have got this selected that it's in red and we'll just type uh, odd page so let's have a look what we have done but because this is on top we'll just move it so we are on first page and we got odd page if we go to the second page there's no odd page text here if we go to the third page there's going to be the odd text displayed there odd page sorry so let's go to the even page and here we'll find the master layer for even pages and let's go and call it even and once again we'll just put some text so I'll go even page very good now if I go to the first page it's gonna say odd page being page number one second page will say even page and the third page will of course say the odd page now if I insert another say five six pages just for um, demonstration so on third page it's gonna say odd even odd even and page number seven is of course going to be odd so I'll quickly get rid of all these pages because I don't need them at the moment okay so we have seen what even and odd master pages do so 
logically when we create a master page a lay on a master page that's going to create something that's going to go on top of all the pages so let's go ahead and create a new layer for the master page and I will call this page number now what I would like to insert on the page number and make sure that the layer you're working on is currently in red red color that means that actually you're working on that layer so what I would like to do is actually insert the page number now if you go to the layout menu up here you will find a page number insert a page number now you can insert it on active on all pages active layer all pages or all even pages once again because we have selected here to be working on our even page now we're going to select on active layer because our active layer is actually the master layer which is page number all pages so we'll insert it there all right i'll just move it maybe to the top like so and now let's have a look so the first page is going to have number one number two number three and if you had more pages so if i insert more pages four five and so on all right i'll get rid of that so that's basically how to insert new layers on um, even and odd pages when it comes to master pages and how to insert pages on just normal uh, page like so and also how to insert new pages so what i'll do now is i will create a master page which will have my background which will be exactly the same well similar to the one i have created before when we we're creating the the menu for our uncle tony uncle tony homemade pizza okay so i went ahead and actually inserted some objects into our well once again some sort of a brush brochure menu thing so what i've done let's have a look I've actually inserted a couple of master pages so you can see that there is the odd master page right here and all the actual objects on that master page and also there's the background page with all the objects so basically what I've done with the master page I have inserted a power frame which I've done before as well, so I'll just move it away for a second. So I have created a power clip frame and I gave it a bit of a red tint like I've done in the previous tutorial and then inserted this photo of a pizza. So I'll just go back and center it. Now if I toggle through my pages, every page will have that background on it. So even if I create new page, page number five, it will have that background in it page six and so on so let's get rid of five and six all right the next thing I've done is I've actually created a master page for even and odd pages only separately of course so I have the odd pages and I have some curves and everything else so odd page is page number one so odd, odd page will have this free delivery and once again I've done a bit of that Italian flag and so if I go to page three it will also have that free delivery and for page number two and page number four which are the even pages I have done pretty much the same except I've put the Italian flag at the top so basically now I can just uh, and then of course for the first page because my first page is going to be a bit different than the other pages because there will I will have my logo Uncle Tony's pizzas like I have here so what I've done is actually I went to layer 2 so I made sure that I am on layer 2 of page 1 and then I've inserted my logo and some text as well and as you can see that text does not appear on any any other pages so basically that's that's pretty much it when it comes to working with multiple pages you have to remember that uh, first of all the layer you're working on is always in red and then you can insert many different layers on a particular page and many all these layers can have all different uh, objects in them so why is that important I'll show you right now so if I go to my page one and I'll insert a new layer and let's just call it layer three for example now if I insert anything on this layer three actually let's get something a bit more visible I'm circling this and I click on this icon here to hide it that will actually hide my 
my uh, object and basically I can work on my other layer so I can go to layer 2 and for example add another object so I'll add something like this and give it some visible color and now if I go and make my layer 3 visible again I will actually get the whole picture so this this is really an easy way to actually in a way hide something that you do not want to work on currently and work on the actual stuff that um, you need to adjust and edit and so on so basically we have seen how to uh, insert new layers how to set master layers how to set um, even an odd master layers and I have just used the techniques and the tools I used before from the previous tutorial to actually create this little um, like a menu brochure if you would and then of course I would just um, enter some information here for pizzas for drinks and for pastas for example and also we have seen how to add and how to remove pages how to add a page before a page or after that one after that page we have also seen all these little icons so, and also this icon here is actually whether or not this um, this page or this layer can be printed or exported so basically these guidelines we we don't print of course and um, therefore there is that little red cross there however for layer 3 which I inserted just before now I'll delete it now um, we can print it or layer 2 for example we do not want to print even though it's there so we can use some custom guidelines and some custom lines that we need to actually create our drawings but we don't want that to be printed out in that case we will just um, select this little icon here print or printer and we'll disable it also uh, the little eye is used to show or hide that particular layer and basically we can also move um, objects from one layer to another so for example if I well let's create another layer layer 3 for example and I will insert some object object here give it some color and now you can see that my rectangle is on layer Three. however I wanted to move to layer 2 all I do is drag it click on it drag and drop now it's on layer 2 and if I go I don't want to see anything on layer 2 I will not get the actual um, the actual object that I've drawn on layer 3 because it's now been moved to layer 2 and of course we can delete any sort of um, object same as layers and that's pretty much it when you're working with the um, multiple pages of course we have seen how to actually insert numbers page numbers on active layers on all pages and so on and there are some number settings here that you can actually work with so if, for example we do not want to start which in this case is a good idea actually we do not want to start on the first page so we'll start um, with page number two and that's actually going to be our page number two so if I click OK and let's put it let's go to second page Let's put it down here. Oops, sorry. We'll go to page again. And we'll go on all pages. And now if I go to page one, as we can see, there is no page number here because this is usually the front cover of our menu and usually you do not put the page number there. But as we move through our little brochure, we'll find that each page has its its number and it's actually starting on page 2 with number 2. And if we move it here, on every page it's going to be displayed at exactly the same exactly the same spot. So that's pretty much all uh, working with working with uh, multiple pages. Um, of course, you can apply all the techniques, all the tools that we have discussed throughout this video tutorials and you can create all sorts of many different multi-paged documents.